Floyd Mayweather, Javante Tate Davis. Two fighters with similar backgrounds, one fighter out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, the other out of Baltimore, Maryland. Both have Hall of Famer trainers, and they come from humble beginnings. Floyd used to carry his handbag to the boxing ring. Tank did the same thing. Tank used to sleep by the door at the gym. Can you dig it? I've seen Floyd fight his way to the top, just like Tank. Pretty boy Floyd, they call him Money Mayweather now, I feel is the smartest boxer to lace up a pair of boxing gloves. Floyd's father as well and his uncle gave him a boxing technique to show the roll, which Floyd perfected and can't nobody duplicate. They still try. Floyd, after beating Oscar De La Hoya, became a global superstar. Made him the greatest boxer of all time because that put him in position to open up the money team. Making very good progress and making investments and sharp investments. You can see after a while, by watching Devin Shakur and Javante, he made his choice. Javante Davis, you can see this. Floyd seeing the fire in his eyes. Calvin Ford and Kenny Ellis, Floyd made the right choice. Put Tank above all. Floyd beat more world champions than any other boxer in history. And after the fights with Canelo and Pacquiao and Oscar is in the Hall of Fame. He ain't got to fight no more. But right now, he's doing outside projects. Adrian Broner, who bought Tank to Floyd, and beat was a blessing to Tank, as you can see. He ain't hold him back. Most people would have held that young man back being a hater. But AB ain't a hater. Tank then knocked out Rowley, Hector, and Ryan Garcia. He transformed himself into a bright superstar with the help of Floyd. Floyd is his mentor, and he gives Tank all the support. He was there for all his fights, press conferences, training, and showing up all the time. He showed Tank, look, just stop, relax, and be patient. You gonna get there. Floyd gave him gifts on his way to the top. To show them hard work. You can have it too. If you stay humble and box. If you stay humble and box. You're going straight to the top. Floyd never let nothing stop him. After losing in the Olympics. Receiving a bronze medal. Huh. That just made him the greatest. He went hard after that. That's why I feel. Tank, Calvin and Kenny. Took the long road. And had a plan. They didn't bash other fighters. Talk about them. Put them down. They just took the silent route and let the boxing do the talking. Floyd was the most hated fighter during his era, just like Tank. He the most hated fighter during his era. They put up with so much bad content that they just kept on boxing and doing their thing. Now they in the winning section. Now that Tank done grown up and moved on, he done opened up GTD promotion. Now he his own boss. Becoming his own boss, he was able to do 1.2 million. That's why you gotta see, he is on his way. Hard work put Tank and Floyd hand. Put him in the spotlight. And from there, when you look around in boxing, Floyd is a genius, cause he spotted that that man had the hunger. And guess what? Floyd can only boost your career to greatness. That's why he ain't choose David. Now check this out. Floyd came from a fighting family. Grand Rapids. Hall of Fame boxing team. Hall, Hall of Fame town. Floyd was always focused. And when you train like that, your body develops muscle memory. When you develop muscle memory, your body develop a mind of its own. It's trained. See, I did the same thing when I used to lift weights. I developed that muscle memory. Weight lifting, being able to rep 405 pounds 13 times for one set and six reps for 10 sets. I used to do the same thing. Work hard, hard work, pay off in the end. You know what I'm saying? And won't nobody be able to do what you do, duplicate what you do. I put it to you like this. When you dedicate yourself like that, it's hard to lose. 
these fighters today, they ain't dedicated like that. Floyd was, Tank is. I admire Floyd, huh? Because on his way back to the house, he used to jump out the car and just jog to the house. Floyd was hungry, you know what I'm saying? Floyd ain't never got away from the true vision. That's why he stamped Tank. Y'all mad. I would train you guys to lift sometimes back in the day when I was out there. Y'all know who y'all is. And after a few days of hard work, y'all gone. Y'all ain't even stay around. I was in crazy shape. That's why Tate, he got the torch passed to him. Because Floyd saw the hunger in his eyes, the fire in his eyes. Tank got crazy boxing skills. He could pace himself, cut the ring off, set traps, move lateral, fight moving backwards, has knockout power, and overall, a cold IQ that's over a thousand. And he can take a punch. Some of you guys can't even take a punch. You gotta thank Floyd for opening up the boxing world for a payday. Floyd knew his worth. Y'all can't be mad with that. He bet on himself, he came up big. Same thing with Javante Tank Davis. He did the same thing. Now looking at 2023, he bet on himself big and cashed out. That's what Tank did. He came up cold. 1.2 million. Javante Tank Davis is the new face of boxing. Tank moved up to 140 and knocked out Barrios. And y'all know that was cold. Y'all know that was cold. Huh? He could have did the same thing to reach Sprograms. So Devin, shut up. Could have did the same thing. But you wouldn't have fought Barrios. That boy fought Barrios and knocked him out. And he was a champion. Knocked him out of stunning fashion. Y'all forget that Tank ain't nothing but a 135 pounds when he in fighting shape, soaking wet. And he only 5'5". Like Tyson was small and short but knocking everything out. Okay? So don't forget this. We know Tank a superstar. And if y'all stay focused, do the next best thing in boxing. So if I was Tank, let the fights come to you and name your price. This is Kai Clover Box. I'm out.